Hi everyone, hope you're okay. My name is Sean. I'm going to answer two questions today. Should you buy the Oculus Quest 2 if you already have the Oculus Quest 1? And if you're going to get the Oculus Quest 2, should you get the 64 gig or the 256 gig version? Let's start with number one. Um, I'm going to really TLDR it. I think the answer is no, to be honest. I, I personally don't think it's going to make much of a difference. You've still got the Oculus Quest, which is still running Android, so the best you're going to get out of it is Android quality games. So anything that could be stuck onto a phone is the maximum amount of visual fidelity you're going to get. So as far as that's concerned, if you're thinking you're going to get some sort of next-gen graphics because you've got the new Snapdragon XR, the, the answer is no. Um, so, yeah. So I would kind of say no, uh, but if your budget allows for it, sure, go for it, why not? But um, you're still going to have to buy the strap because obviously it's going to be really uncomfortable with that cloth thing. You're not going to be able to wear it for, uh, I suspect, more than 30 minutes without your head hurting. It's still going to be very front heavy, so you're going to need to do your custom mods with your battery pack at the back as well. So that's that. Um, so I would say no, you're not really getting anything different here. The Oculus Quest 1 is still going to be supported for however long... And it's not going to die anytime soon. Also, as of yet, you don't need a Facebook account to use your Oculus Quest. Uh, if you buy your Oculus Quest 2, you're going to have that problem. Okay, that aside, um, I'm a hypocrite because I have done exactly the opposite to my advice. But that's that's okay. I really like the Oculus Quest. And uh, and I thought I'd, uh, I'd go ahead and get both. And also, my budget allows me to do that. So that's fine. Um, also, number two. Um, should you go for the 64 gig version of the Quest 2 or the 256 gig version? Now, for me, I like the standalone aspects of the Oculus Quest more than I do with the appeal of being able to plug it into a PC. So for me, the answer is 256 gig all day, every day. Um, I think it was very steep with the Oculus Quest 1 where it was 64 gig or 128 gig and you'd pay an extra £100 for that 128 gig storage. So for me, it, it seems like I'm getting a better deal when I'm getting 256 gigs. You also have to bear in mind that you cannot have a micro SD card slot inside of it. However, I am unsure if you can plug a USB-C memory stick into your quest and do some funky file transfer backup thingies. Um, also, another thing to bear in mind with the 64 gig version is you can still back up your data as of y as of now with SideQuest. So, providing all all is fine in SideQuest land, you're going to still be able to do that. But I understand that Oculus is now partnering with SideQuest and they're going to make SideQuest a first party app. So I suspect they're going to redact that feature when it comes out. I assume probably because it's violating some sort of Oculus terms and conditions, whatever. So the answer is if you're using the Oculus Link and you've got a couple of games, Beat Saber, Pistol Whip, uh, you can have, let's say, uh, Sniper Elite VR, Population 1 split the cell and um, then you'll, you'll be fine with the 64 gig version and i'd recommend going for that and spending the 100 pounds on the accessories however if you like to have all your data in one place you don't like to delete anything you're going to have a lot of a game library which is going to keep expanding 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 go and you're going to have a load of side quest games obviously doom 3 is coming out so that's probably going to be about 10 gigs i suspect just straight off the bat um i would go for the 256 gig version straight off the bat and also if you're like having movies on your vr headset me personally i'm not a fan of having movies on a vr headset so that doesn't really appeal to me but i would still go for the 256 gig version if you're going to do that i think it to me it's an absolute no-brainer um i i wouldn't take the risk if you're, you've already got an Oculus Quest and you realise that you have got about, let's say you're using 40 gigs out of your 64 gig, I would say that in itself is enough reason to justify the 256 gig model. If you've got under 20 gigs on your Quest, then I would say stick with the 64. But to me, uh, I can appreciate the the value that I'm getting with the 256 gig model. Um, this was a very short video, but I hope uh, that sort of cleared that up. Um, I probably will be doing an unboxing of the Oculus Quest 2. I, I'm going to try and do some gameplay with it and record it um, as well. So, uh, so that's that's 
all that's going to come. But um, yeah, I I personally don't think there is a massive going to be a massive difference between the Oculus Quest One and the Oculus Quest Two. For me, the fact that we're losing on that OLED screen is a bit of a bust, to be honest. So so for me, once you factor in all your accessories that you've already got for your Quest One, that you're going to have to probably buy again for your Quest Two. Plus, you're going to have to buy a new case. Plus, you're going to have to buy the head strap. Plus, you're going to have to buy the battery. Plus, you're going to have to have a, a Facebook account. To me, the answer is no, it's not worth it. But if you haven't got an Oculus Quest, then I would highly recommend getting the Oculus Quest 2. I think you're going to be very, very happy. And, um, and yeah, hopefully that answers your questions. If you've got any more questions, do leave it down in the comment section below and I'll, I'll try and answer it. Obviously, I'm not an extra an oculus quest expert i only own the oculus quest one um obviously i don't work for oculus or anything like that but um, i'm more than happy to try and answer your questions if you have got any questions